Good day and a very warm welcome to all my friends to the channel The Other 167. In this channel, we share the word of God to build ourselves up and to edify one another into the kingdom of God. Uh, we all know about January 26th. And you know, me as a child, I used to love one thing of January 26th besides the parade. And that was watching the bravery awards, which were given to kids who did fantastic job. And you know, the commentator is to say that, oh, they have got these gifts on January 26th because they have acted wisely. So my dear friends, the topic for today's message is also being wise. Okay, I just repeat the topic is being wise. And our key verse is in Proverbs 11.30. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. I would like to say, add on to the word wise it is, it means one who has the wisdom of God. Right? Uh, in Ephesians 4.11 it says, that there are pastors, apostles, teachers, evangelists are there to equip the saints for the works of the ministry. Ezekiel 47.12 says, And on the banks on both sides of the river, there will grow all kinds of trees for food. The leaves will not wither nor the fruit fall, but will bear fresh fruit every month. Because the water flows from the sanctuary. The fruit is for food and the leaves is for healing. This is the tree of life that is mentioned in Proverbs 11.30. And then Revelation 2.7 says, that the one, To the one who conquers, to him, I will give the tree of life in paradise. Right? So, Basically, what it says is that all soul winners, you know, as it is told in Daniel 3, are all wise. Soul winners are wise. Daniel 12, 3 says, Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the sky above, and those who turn many to righteousness are like the stars forever and ever. Matthew 4, 19 tells us that Jesus told his disciples, Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And Jude 23 tells us that being wise, by being wise, that is having the wisdom of God, we can save others even to the extent when they are even in the fire. Because we say we snatch them out of the fire. That is what a wise person can do. Virtually snatch them out of the fire. So we'll see how do we remain wise or continue being wise. Okay, we remain wise by our prayer, you know, prayer and by laying hands. This is in Acts 6 6. And Luke 18 1 tells us the parable of the widow who used to go to the judge always, which shows that we should pray always and not lose heart. Our field is mentioned in Mark 5 19 to 20, wherein we see that Jesus delivers a person who is demon possessed and he wants to be with Jesus. But Jesus tells him otherwise. He says to him, go home and tell your brothers. So our fields will be wherever the Holy Spirit will lead us because the Holy Spirit speaks for Jesus. Our time, Matthew 21, 28, which tells us about two sons, wherein the father tells the son that go and work in my vineyard today. One says yes, but does not go. But the other says no, I am a bit busy, but yet he goes. So our time should be faithfully redeemed. It should be given to God. Our motive is in 2 Corinthians 5.14. If one died for all, then we can be able to live. Love of God should be within us. It is within us. It is the love that drives this motive. Our helper 
in John 15, 5, Jesus gives us the example of the vine and the branches. So Jesus says that he is the vine and we are the branches. And without Jesus, we can do nothing and not bear any fruit. Or in fact, I could say we are not wise. So we have to abide in Jesus. Our theme can be nothing less than John 3.16. We all know it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but shall have eternal life. This should be our theme to all because we are wise. Our message is so well manifested and shown in Romans 1.16 that we should not be ashamed of the message. The message is there in John 3.16. We should not be ashamed to tell them that it is the power of salvation to everyone who believes. Our power is in Acts 1.8 when Jesus told us that wait for the power, receive the power, and then become witnesses from Samaria, Judea, Jerusalem, and to the whole world. Our example is Jesus himself in Luke 2.49, where Jesus says that I am in my father's house and I am in my father's business. So be wise and be in the father's business. Our example is Jesus, as we said. Our reward is mentioned so nicely in 2 Timothy 4, 17 and 18. Because we are strengthened and we are preserved to proclaim the message. The Lord will rescue us from every evil deed and bring us safely into his heavenly kingdom. Such a wonderful message. So once again, dear brethren, let us be wise. There's another parable also of the foolish and the wise builder. Another parable of the ten virgins where five are foolish and five are wise. So very well depicted in the Bible. So let us all be wise and I hope that we will continue further to magnify and glorify the name of the Lord and blessings to all of you brethren in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.